Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Ben Ryan from TheMajors.com, and we would just like to welcome you to our first ever vlog. And we thought that since we've only been writing stuff, that it would be good to put uh, to get our face on the camera and to give you guys a glimpse of what's going on behind the scenes and so you know who's writing everything every day. And since the weekend's over, I've decided that every Monday I'm going to start doing a Monday recap of the past weekend, everything that's major, everything that's worth mentioning. So let's put a minute on the clock, and I'll tell you everything that I think is worth mentioning, and I will tell you my opinion on those events. So first off, i got to start with the Bulls and the Heat on Sunday, baby. The two best teams in the NBA, in my opinion, and the preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. You heard it here first. But the inability to finish in that game was crazy. You got LeBron, you got D-Wade, you got Rose, you got all these talented players. But none of them put up MVP-type performances. And you might argue and say that, oh, man, LeBron and D-Rose, they, they both dropped over 30 points. Well, guess what? Big players make big plays at big times. And at the end of the game, two missed free throws by both Rose and LeBron. And then the runner in the lane by Rose missed for the game winner unacceptable could not believe that being a Bulls fan it broke my heart but love the competition it was an excellent game number two I gotta go with the Super Bowl madness that's going on right now I finally got my prediction in and I'm going with the New York Giants 34 to 27 the triple threat the Giants wide receivers we got Hakeem Nix Mario Manningham and Victor Cruz who should have been in the Pro Bowl but wasn't those three are going to be too much to handle for the 31st ranked secondary, the New England Patriots. Their pass defense is terrible, and I think that Eli Manning is going to get his second ring. Moving on to my third topic, the Republican debates. I watched it this weekend, and I got to say, Ron Paul, you are my boy. I just think that everyone thinks he's so wise and that everyone just agrees with him. Nobody really attacks him or does anything because they know he's short and he's to the point. Another thing I noticed is that two of the candidates said that their wives would be the best first lady because they wrote children books. Now, I don't read a lot of children's books. But I don't get how that would make your wife better than somebody else or how that would make your wife a good first lady because she wrote a children's book. I mean, I don't know. I would have to be bored to write a children's book, to tell you the truth. Fourth, I'm going to end it with my boy Tiger Woods. He got back in action this, this week at Abu Dhabi, and he had a 54-hole lead. But unfortunately, on Sunday, he was wearing red, but he couldn't finish. Came in third, but it's just good to see him out there. It's good to see him on the golf course. It's good for the PGA Tour, and I think that 2012 is going to be a great season for Tiger Woods. So watch out, everybody on the PGA Tour. Tiger Woods is back. And that's all we have for you today, and I just want to thank everybody who is listening, who, is, who has viewed this or is going to view this, and follow me back Monday because we're going to have another one. Peace.